Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing season number 5 of the Toronto Maple Leafs franchise mode. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of the first 4 seasons, I'd really appreciate if you can go back on my channel and do so. So let's take a look at our draft this year. We had the 24th overall pick where we where we, where we we selected Shing Time. We also selected Weaver, Rhinus, McCauley, and Van de Bush. I don't know if I'm saying that properly or the first guy's name properly, but... The guy at 24, we got medium top six forward. So keep an eye out for him for potential making the lineup eventually or maybe even a trade. Going to take you through the one trade we made this offseason with the Buffalo Sabres. It was quite a big one. We sent goaltender prospect Marty Bowman, a medium starter, 65 overall, along with a first round pick in next year's draft 2029. In return, we're going to be getting Uka Pekka Lukanen and Matias Samuelson. So Samuelson is going to be playing in the top four. Uka Pekka Lukanen is most likely going to be getting the majority of the starts this season. So I'm going to take you through our lines head into this year. We've got Domi with Matthews and Nylander, Nyes with Hayton and Cowan, Newhook with Kraus and Hamina Aho, and Oslin with Evans and Carrier. So Noah Oslin's coming back, a three-year deal paying him $1.65 million per season. Pretty good contract if you ask me for a bottom six young player. Alex Newhook coming in on a one-year deal paying him $3.2 million. Lenny Hamina Aho has been really good since coming over from New Jersey, a three year deal for him. He's going to be making $2 million per season. Easton Cowan's coming back after signing a one-year deal last year. A five-year deal for him, paying him $5.8 million per season. And finally, Max Domi. He was a UFA. You all know that he's been playing really well. Didn't think I was going to be able to afford him. He was able to come back. A one-year deal, $9.785 million per season. If you haven't seen how good Max Domi's been doing, go look at some of the past videos. He's been right up there on the team in scoring. Our de defense is Morgan Rowley with Neil Pionk, Nikishin with Samuelton, and Shillington with Danford. So Danford was a first-round pick in 2024 by the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's going to be making his NHL debut this season. Matias Samuelson was brought in via a trade. He's got two more years left on this current contract. Alexander Nikishin was here last year. He's coming back for five more years, a $6.6 .6 million cap hit. And Neil Pionk is coming in to play on the first pair, a one-year deal paying him $6.5 million. So our goalies this year are Uka Pekalukanen and Dennis Hill to be Hill to be obviously has been a prospect in the Leaf system for a couple years now. One year deal at 800k to be the backup goalie this season. So hopefully the changes we made here can help Toronto go on a deep run in season number five, and hopefully we can get a Stanley Cup soon. So we are here one day before the trade deadline. The Leafs are having an awful season, sitting in eighth place in the Atlantic Division with 53 points and a record of 24, 33, and five. So taking a look at stats after 62 games for Leafs players: Nylander 59, Matthews 57. Domi 55, Riley with 43, Nyes with 42, Cowan 36, Kraus 33, Hayton 31, Hamina Aho 30, Newhook 25, Osland 21, Pionk 21 as well, Carrier with 17, Nikishin 15, Danford 14th, Evans with 13, Shillington with 11, Samuelson is at 10 for goaltenders, Lucan and 21, 27, and 3 with no shutouts, an 8.92 save percentage, and a 3.81 goals against average, while Den Dennis Hildeby is 3-6-2 with one shutout, a 9-10 save percentage, and a 3.12 goals against average. So we're here at the trade deadline. I'm really looking to get our first round pick back this year as we are not doing too good right now. Going to try to send out Max Domi at half retained, Lawson Kraus, get our first round pick back along with defenseman EJ Emery. Let's see if this trade will go through. The trade is rejected. So I've added a third round pick in next year's draft to see if this trade will be accepted, and it's still rejected. So we are here at the trade deadline looking to make a deal with the Detroit Red Wings looking to get a first round pick in this year's draft along with defenseman Axel Sandin Pelica signed for five more years at a six and a half million dollar cap at 86 overall defenseman gonna send out Max Domi loved having him in Toronto would even be down to re-sign him if the price is right but makes more sense as we're not doing too good Lawson Kraus as well last year of his contract he's not really having too good of a season let's see if this trade will go through the trade is accepted the regular season is now complete. The Leafs do not end up having a good end to the season in 2029, finishing in 8th place in the Atlantic Division with 77 points and a record of 36-41-5. and 
Five teams will make the playoffs from the Atlantic Division. The Sabres, Canadians, Senators, Lightning, and the Red Wings as we move over to the Metro Division. The Devils, Rangers, and Flyers will get into the playoffs. On to the Western Conference Pacific Division. The Oilers, Golden Knights, and Canucks will qualify for the playoffs. And finally in the Central will be the Wild Blackhawks, Jets, the Avalanche, and the Coyotes. Taking a look at final player stats for Leafs for this season. Nylander finishes with 90 points. Matthews, 84. Nye, 62. Cowan, 56. Same with Riley. Sandy and Pelico with 50, Hayton 44, Hamina Aho 36, Newhook 34, Pionk 28, Oslin 26, Nikishin 21, same with Carrier, Danford with 20, Evan 17, Samuelson 15, Shillington 11, and Joel Armia finishes with one point. In net, Lukanen didn't have a good season, 31, 33, and 3 with one shutout, an 8.95 save percentage, and a 3.69 goals against average, while Dennis Hildeby went 5, 8, and 2 with one shutout, a 9.10 save percentage, and a 3.08 goals against average. Taking a look at goaltenders around the NHL, Devon Levi had the most wins in the NHL with 45 this year. Jacob Fowler had 43. Walsh had 42. Olivier Rodrigue 41. And Spencer Knight finishes with 38. Taking a look at scoring around the NHL, Dreisaitl had the most points this year with 124. McDavid 116. Miller 114. Bedard 113. Caulfield 101. Tara Vine in 99. Ranton in 97. Same with Pedersen and Jack Hughes. Taking a look at the playoff bracket in 2029, the Arizona Coyotes will win the Stanley Cup, defeating Minnesota in round one, Winnipeg in round two, Edmonton in round three, and Detroit in the Stanley Cup finals. Taking a look at final team and league awards to wrap up this video, Coyotes will win the Stanley Cup along with the Clarence Campbell Bowl, the Prince of Wales to the Red Wings, and the Presence Trophy to the Minnesota Wild. The Art Ross will go to Dreisaitl along with the Hart, the Norris to Bouchard, the Lady Bing to Anton Frondel, the Calder to Conrad Fondurk, the Conn Smythe to Clayton Keller, the Vesna to Jesper Wallstead, the William M. Jennings to Jacob Fowler, the Bill Masterton to Dylan DeMello, the Jack Adams goes to McNeely, the Red Wings coach, the Selkie to Jack Hughes, the Ted Lindsay to Dreisaitl, and the Maurice Rocket Richard to Cole Coffee. Thank you very much for watching this video. Toronto Maple Leafs franchise mode season number five. Definitely a disappointing outcome once again, giving up our first round pick and missing the playoffs. We'll see how high that pick will end up being, but we kind of just got to move forward from here in our last five seasons. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I really appreciate it. If you can go back and do so, it would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.